Hello there, this is Daddy Spartan doing the explanation of what this wipe will entail for any viewers on my Twitch channel and various other people who want to try it out are more than welcome to. I'll include the links of the documents down below. So, this time I'm going to be doing what is called an extreme zero to hero run. Now, what this entails is a set of rules that I will follow following this wipe. Now, First rule is, in regards to selling, I can sell to any trader that I want for ruples only. I'm also barred from buying dollars and euros from the said trader. So, with those rules implied for the first one. Second rule is, I start with no items. So, nothing in the stash, nothing on my person, not even a secure container. So, I am literally going in with nothing but the clothes that are on my PMC. Now, the rule is with the containers, the secure containers, is that I have to earn them in order. So, I can't use the beta until I have the alpha. I, if I get the theta, I cannot use that until I've earned the epsilon. I progress normally, so it means I have to get the alpha, beta, epsilon, the theta, and then, if I'm lucky enough or even talented enough, the kappa. Now, Rule number four is, I cannot buy any items that are used to make items. These specifically include the items needed to make moonshine. So I can't buy sugar and or purified water. I cannot buy GPUs and I cannot buy filters. However, I can create them in the hideout. So you can make GPUs using the Intelligence Center level three. And I can make water filters from the laboratory in level two. So I can do it that way. I cannot buy those parts specifically. Okay. Now, the rule of traders, as I've probably explained in rule one, is I can buy normally, which includes ammo, weapons, and keys. I just have to unlock them at said time. I can use the flea market to sell, and I can use it to buy items, but I can only buy items that are specifically paid for with dollars or euros. As we all know, there's a few sellers out there that might sell it, but it also means that I cannot buy key cards or specific weaponry or specific parts for, what does it call it, gunsmith. So it'd be more look at the chance, but as well, considering the fact I won't be able to buy dollars either at that stage, it means it'll take a lot longer for me to get through. Another rule, rule seven, there is no changing of the daily or weekly tasks. What I get is what I have to attempt to do. This is also to keep the rep, as it were, and everything else that longs alive with it. Now, this new rule I have implied is more in state with the introduction of Arena. So, I cannot start using Arena until I have completed both the Punisher questline, part 6, and reached level 30 on my account. I can start doing ref quests, you know, getting that ball rolling, but I can't start doing any of the arena based ones until after I've got the Punisher Part 6 done and level 30. I have to do both. Now, the ultimate goal is rune number 9, is I have to earn 1 billion rubles. Now, the counter rule that I put in is for every 100 million rubles that I have in my stash at any one time, every day, I can buy a thousand dollars slash euros. That's one or the other, not both. So if I uh, so if I have three hundred million rubles, I can buy three thousand dollars or three thousand euros, depending on what I need. This is so that with natural progression, I'm able to move along if needed. It also puts focus on earning the one billion in the backlight, as it were. Now the other rule before I state the point system is I cannot do scav runs until after level 50, my PMC is level 15. And this will be on a rotation basis on the map, so no single map is farmed. So, for example, I can do ground zero, then I'll do street, then I'll do customs, and so on and forth, following the map's route. This is so I don't get comfortable on one map, and it splits it up. So I'm not constantly farming one particular part of the map constantly. I get variety. It also means that if I'm searching for a specific item, I've got to get creative. 
Now the point system is my own design. It basically, as you can see here, tracks all of every single activity that I do. This includes scav kills on PMCs and when I'm running scav runs, as well as an arena total as well. Now the general rule of thumb is, if a PMC level is higher, I'll learn more points from killing them. Because it's a lot harder to kill a Giga Chad at level 50 than it is to kill a Timmy at level 10, 10 or 5. I'll earn points for extractions, successful, or wins an arena. The tasks I do, as well as the skills that I level up, will earn me a set amount of points. But there's also a skill total multiplier. And this refers to when I get a mastery of a skill, I will earn a small multiplier towards the overall score. There's also rep with the traders, based on how nice I am with the traders. Not the specific levels, but more the rep that I earn from, say, like the dailies and the weeklies. Now, because of weapon mastery, there are some weapons that sort of share a path, i.e. you get AKs that share the same weapon mastery with other AKs. So, with that, it's the weapons that I have earned those levels with. So, if I've got eight weapons with level two mastery and one with level f well, max mastery, it will base the points based on that. Now, at the end of it all, there are also multiplier of points after I've earned all of this, including what my secure container is. At the moment, it's none, so it'll be 0 0.5. Any mastery levels that I've earned from the skills above. As well as my scav level and my PMC level. So the higher that is, the less of a penalty it'll take towards my points. Now my ultimate target is to earn 100,000 points based on this system. And the added motivator of this all is, is that for every 1,000 points I miss off the total, I will have to do 5 press-ups on the day of the next wipe. So, if I don't do well enough, I could be doing attempts to do 500 press-ups in a day. And if you see my figure, that is something I wish not to do. Now, if you have any rules that you wish to add, if just follow my stream of Daddy Spartan at Twitch. If you donate $50, I'll add that rule into this run. Now, get creative, because I'm pretty sure you want to punish me as much as you want. But until then, I will see you all tomorrow. So until, take care. But, William, what? A hundred K, yes. You'll shave your head and beard. No. Beard, then. No. I ain't shaving this. I'm not shaving my head or beard. Fine, so ben. that is off the picture. Fine, then. You have to donate ten pounds to charity. Fine. But until then... I will see you in Tarkov and good luck escaping.